Well, hello, YouTube. Welcome back. This is Bale Mage. I am very, very surprised by how active the market has been, but we'll get to that in a moment. Day five is when we start to make real, real money. Uh, we decided to start our full strat. We are farming tier 17 map drops, and oh boy, are we farming them. You are being controlled by greater forces. Oh no, we're not AI. Like three or four weeks ago. Yeah. Easy. And we get to bulk sell tier 17s at 0 0.8 divines per map. Yes, thank you. Hades 2, are you waiting for the full release? Isn't Hades 2 already got the full release? And yeah, I played it for a little bit. And as a byproduct, we get a absolute truckload of tier 16 maps, which very surprisingly to me, still regularly sell in bulk. All right, so let's jump in game and see where this character's at. So this is our character. This is going to be the final day because it is Diablo 4 time. However, this is already pretty much at hero status um, from just the one day farming. We've got 32 div, 3000 chaos. Uh, we have nearly 100 extra maps here to sell that we haven't used yet. We're at eight more of these tier 17 maps to sell. Those will obviously continue to sell. Um, we have been picking up a little bit of these maps which if i could be bothered to sell i would but frankly i would just leave them there until they were piled up uh, but not too many of them drop there's also a ton of scarabs left so between that and all of the currency that we've made in a single day of farming um this is already at the win stage this is now at the point where i could do degenerate min max things once or twice a day like one or two big upgrades every single day like big huge degenerate min max things that being said we also don't need any more on this character not that that's ever stopped me before but as we sit here our character is just shy of the 10 million on the dps here uh, obviously there's a lot left to do here like you get a ton more just from extra levels extra levels are each worth like 1.1 mil each so you've got and empower four and then a holy relic of conviction level and then a plus one corruption which would give you plus one to everything and then <laughs> at that point here, you almost here, certainly here. replace added chaos with a different support there's a ton tons tons more i could do to up this quite a bit but this is where i'm stopping um, this has been fantastic. We've made one other change, which is putting Summon Phantasm in with Herald of Purity. Two reasons for this. It's always got at least two Summon Phantasms out, which gives me that last 2% physical damage reduction or three. However many it is, I need to get to 10. Almost always out, but they also die quite easily. And so do the Herald of Purities. 
so we were having a little tiny bit of a squishy problem with the holy relics because this version invested nothing into defense for minions at all so we did take this recover five percent of life on minion death so those sentinels die quite easily and regularly and that's good because those heal our holy relics as well as the summon phantasms die quite easily and quite regularly which is good because they heal our holy relics other than that everything has been absolutely fantastic this version of the build is overall about 15 percent less dps and about six percent squishier so we're looking at negative 15 percent damage and negative five to six percent tank but we have the benefit of not looking for an animate guardian not looking for specters not looking for any of those things so i'm a pretty big fan i think in an eventual degenerate min max version i'm probably still going to personally go for the animate guardian on holy relic because 15 percent is a lot and i don't mind replacing them occasionally but i will put this forward as a super valid option if you're not into the bullshit stuff of dealing with animate guardians dealing with specters finding corpses having to buy things for them having to risk them dying this is not a huge drop the character is still pretty damn tanky it still does a really good amount of dps it still plays the same it still ignores all the map mods it still does everything we could ever want it to do it's just a tiny bit slower which is really just not a big deal so yeah um the path of building will be linked in the video description and if we can find our way into having a little bit more peewee one time before the league is up i will take this character over to my main account and fully gear it up in proper degenerate gear and see if i can uh, get it up to you know the 30 40 million dps range and maybe see if it's good enough to take a perpega player like me and let them kill all of the ubers which i already know this character could kill all the ubers it could always do it before the problem was occasionally an animate guardian or a specter would die with that not being an issue anymore maybe even somebody like me can do them reliably i don't know we'll end up back over there doing that on our main account so that is all that is the end of it um this has been incredibly good incredibly fun and incredibly eye-opening to me about how much less important those extra minions were uh last closing note i'm also incredibly surprised how active trade still is um i would think this deep into a poe league that we would have struggled to buy things or struggled to sell things or struggled to have an active market and it's just not been true uh everything from 1 to 20 c sales everything up to 5 and 10 div sales and things that i needed to buy everything was still here everything was still active people are still bulk buying even tier 16 maps people are still selling and buying unique maps people are still selling and buying items from my 30 chaos dump tab uh people were still buying fractures people were still buying all sorts of things absolutely just like a thriving market still somehow this far in which has shocked me so that's quite surprising anyway that is all that is the end character is now hero money can be made obviously i wouldn't consider this rich rich but this is like one day and now that it's diablo four time i'm gonna go spend a week playing that i'm gonna call this series done but i could have just done this for you know do this for 10 days and suddenly you can afford anything in the entire game or do it for three days and buy yourself a mage blood uh, it's really quite good uh, a quick glance here just to see what my passive tree looks like it is exactly what you think it is we've got shrines every plus map thing a tiny investment here some stuff blocked and then just every plus map node and every increased effect node um except this one i'm missing one if i got one more level i would put that one in or one more passive point 
but we are at 128 out of 132 so one more maven witness thing breach lords or something fill that one in all right that's it that's everything i will see everybody next time goodbye